What's up, everyone? Uh, Khalif Towns backstage at the 30th Annual Cell Awards, standing next to award-winning Ricky Diller. How are you? Thank you, brother. It's so good to be here with you tonight. Great. How many awards did you win? We did four tonight, okay. and we're grateful for four out of ten, and mm -hmm. um, the Lord's favor is just overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I don't have no complaints, and I celebrate everybody who was a recipient of uh, a Stella Award tonight, especially my uh, label mate, uh, Erica Campbell. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? I mean, it seems like E1 just really took away a lot of awards tonight. Well, this, uh, the grace is on. <laughs> yes. E1 and Light Records on. And I'm so uh, grateful to be a part. I've been there since uh, 2010 mm -hmm. uh, when we did the Keep Living Project. James Robinson signed me when he was the president, and um, I'm still holding on. Mm -hmm. And the Lord gave us this great revival through the message of Amazing. Mm -hmm. So we're glad to be here. And amazing that that song, I believe, is still on Billboard charting. Yes, sir. No like, four. were you expecting it to go that long? I was not. You know, we did amazing last year for the twenty uh, ninth mm -hmm. annual Stella Awards, and we closed with it. And uh, you know, I was very, very nervous because, of course, um, when I come to the stage, I'm more high energy performance. But uh, my team decided that we should do something way off the bat mm -hmm. and uh, we decided to come forth with uh, amazing to introduce it to the world and to the uh, Stella Awards that night mm -hmm. and God blessed it and from that day forward we set it number one for 31 weeks. Yes. How did the song even come about? Well actually as I was in this depressed place mm -hmm. and um, I thought that my career was ending and I didn't have felt like I didn't have any more to give mm -hmm. um, and then the music was changing and I didn't see myself in praise and worship. I'm a choir guy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, but the Lord, uh, that was this song just floating around Chicago for about five years. Mm -hmm. Just, you know. <laughs> and um, Donald Lawrence, uh, who's my good friend, you know, he's one of the best producers of our time. He said, you need to come home. I live in D.C. now. He said, you need to come to Chicago and see what the young people are doing. And I went home and they were singing songs like Celebrate the King, you mm -hmm. know. I said, I could do that. Mm -hmm. And then they said, Donald said, this is the place you should be. And he let me hear Amazing, which I had heard Amazing a number of times. Mm -hmm. And it was just sitting. Mm -hmm. Nobody was doing anything with it. So I grabbed it. Mm -hmm. And it was the first song that I taught the choir for this particular album, Amazing. And we entitled the album Amazing. What advice would you give, um, up, you know, inspiring choir directors? Like, you know, what's the technique to really be a great choir director i guess the real question is what's the secrets to being a great leader in the choir well let me just say that um a real leader needs to know where he's going because mm -hmm. if you don't know where he's going then he will be stagnant in one place but if you see vision and you can see down the road and you can aim mm -hmm. and follow the holy ghost he'll lead you to your destiny mm -hmm. and you must have your ear to the voice of god in order for you to be able to be a stable staple in ministry period if it doesn't have to be gospel music it could be preaching it could be pastoring it could be anything mm -hmm. but you have to have your ear and your heart open to hear the voice of god well thank you so much for the interview and congratulations on your awards all right thank you